Good morning, little friends. It's so good to see you again. I miss you all so much, and I can't wait for when we can see each other again. So this morning, we have a really cool story to talk about. It's about how God got somebody out of prison. So we're going to sing a song that I know from when I was really little, okay? And it's called, He's Able. Do you know what able means? Able means that you can do something. So you could say, I am able to water the plants, or I am able to run. I am, I am able to jump, right? It's kind of like saying, I can jump. So when we say that God is able, that means that he can do something, all right? So let's listen to the words, it goes like this. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. All right, can you do that again? He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. So we're going to sing now some of the things that Jesus can do for us, okay? He heals the broken hearted. Can you make a heart shape with your fingers? He heals the broken hearted and he sets the captives free. Okay, so you pretend you're captured, can't get it out, but Jesus lets you free. He's free, okay? He heals the broken hearted and he sets the captives free. He makes the lame to walk again and cause the blind to see. Okay, do you know what it means to be lame? Being lame that means you can't walk. Your legs are so broken and sick that you can't walk anymore. It was something that a lot of people in the Bible struggled with. So he made the people who couldn't walk able to walk. So we take our fingers and we pretend they're legs. We walk them up our arm. He made the lame to walk again. And blind means you can't see, right? And your eyes are broken. So he caused the blind to see. And then we're going to go back to the beginning part. So let's try again. He heals the broken hearted. And he sets the captives free. He makes the lame to walk again. And he caused the blind to see. For he is able. He's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. Can you do the whole thing with me, do you think? Let's try it. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He heals the broken hearted and he sets the captives free. He made the lame to walk again and he caused the blind to see. For he is able, he's able, I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. Right, so that, that song is helping us remember that God can do anything. He is all powerful. And he can do absolutely anything. He can make people who are sad feel whole again, right? He heals the brokenhearted. He can get people who are captured free. He can make people whose legs are sick walk. And he can make people whose eyes are sick see again. So God can do anything. So today's story it's going to be about a really amazing thing that God did. And it's going to tell us how we can help God with those things. So before we read our story, let's pray. Open and shut them, open and shut them, give a little clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them, fold them in your lap. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that we can still have Sunday school. Pray that you would help us to understand that you are able to do anything and help us to trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so we've been learning about all these miracles that Jesus did, right? We've been learning about how 
he took care of people. We were learning about how he loved people. So you remember the little girl who was sick and the little boy who was sick and he made them better. Jesus was making all these people better and he was showing people that he loved them, right? With Zacchaeus, he showed Zacchaeus that he loved Zacchaeus. He showed the woman who poured the perfume on his feet that he loved her. Now, we're going to hear about what happened. So after Jesus died, do you remember at Easter, Jesus died and then he came back to life and then he went up to heaven. So Jesus isn't here on, living with us on earth right now, right? He's up in heaven. And these are some of the things that God did while Jesus was up in heaven and he used his people on earth to do them, okay? So do you remember, so Jesus had his disciples. Jesus had disciples and one of those disciples was Peter. Now, after Jesus died, Peter was sharing the gospel with everyone he could find. He was telling them, guess what? Jesus came and he died and he rose again and he paid for your sins. And this is so exciting and we should all believe this and you should love Jesus, right? He is going around telling everyone that, but some people didn't like that he was telling other people that. So they put Peter in prison. And do you know what prison is? So back then prison, there were all these bars in front of some people and they were stuck inside and there were lots of gates and they were chained up and they were stuck, right? So they were all in prison. Peter was in prison and his friends, they were sad, right? But Peter was stuck and his friends, they missed Peter and they wanted him to be able to do his job. And they were so sad because they didn't think Peter should be in prison for telling people about Jesus. So his friends, they decided to pray, right? And we pray, we fold our hands, we close our eyes. And who are we talking to when we pray? We're talking to God, right? So everyone, they were afraid, but they prayed and they said, Jesus, please come let Peter out of prison. We're worried about him. Please come save him. We don't know what's going to happen. Guess what? God heard them. They prayed all night long and Jesus heard their prayers. He listened and he helped. In the middle of the night, he sent an angel. An angel came and it spoke to Peter and it poked Peter and it said, Peter, get up, get dressed, hurry. Put on your sandals and your coat and follow me. Peter obeyed, okay? And Peter's friends kept on praying. Peter could hardly believe what was happening the guards around him, they all kept snoring. They were all asleep. Shh, shh, right? They were all sound asleep. They didn't do a thing. The big prison doors, these huge doors with big locks on them, they unlocked themselves. The angel led Peter right through them out into the street. And then the angel disappeared. Peter rubbed his eyes with surprise. What happened, right? He was still sleepy. He just woke up from sleeping. And then there was this angel and the angel saved him from prison, which was great, but he was still confused, right? And his friends, they were over in the room. They didn't know all this was happening. So they just kept on praying. All right, so Peter, he ran as fast as he could. He ran and ran and ran and ran and ran. And he went to his friend's house and he knocked, knocked, knocked on the door. And all his friends were like, who could be knocking at our door in the middle of the night while we're praying? It was Peter. They were so surprised. They thought Peter was still in jail, but he wasn't. He was at their door because God had saved them, saved him, right? So they all ran to Peter and they gave him big hugs. And they said, we're so glad you're home, Peter. Right? And then they thanked God because God and Jesus had helped Peter get out and they were so happy for that. Okay, so I have a challenge for you. 
I want you to pretend that you're like Peter, which means that you have to sneak out of prison, okay? Right? So you gotta be really sneaky and really quiet, okay? So get on your sneakiest, quietest feet and your sneakiest, quietest mouth and your sneakiest, quietest hands. I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to see if you can answer them without using your mouth, without making any sounds. Do you think you can answer these questions? Let's see. How did Peter feel when he was in prison? Don't make any sounds. Just show me, right? How did he feel? Right? He was sad and he was scared. Did you make some sad and scared faces? What were Peter's friends doing while he was in prison? Remember, be quiet, just show me. They were praying, right? They were praying that Peter would be free. Okay, now's the fun one. How did Peter sneak past his guards? Gotta be really quiet, right? Tiptoe, tiptoe, sneak, sneak, sneak. There was an angel next to him too, right? The angel was helping him stay asleep. What did Peter's friends do when he got to their house? Again, be quiet. They hugged him, right? They were so excited to see him. Show me how they hugged Peter. If your brother or your sister is next to you, you can hug them. Give them a big hug. What does Jesus want us to do when our friends are in trouble? What did Peter's friends do when he was in trouble, right? Jesus wants us to pray. So I want you to think about who are some people that you could pray for who are in trouble, right? So think about, do you know any friends or anyone who's sick maybe? Or do you know anyone who's been alone for a long time because of social distancing, right? Some of our grandmas and our grandpas, we haven't been able to see them. There are lots of people who are by themselves right now. We can pray for those people, right? We can pray for our mommies and our daddies, even if they're not sick, right? We can just pray for them and say, God, take care of them. Okay, so think about that. There are lots of things that you can be praying for. So let's pray and then you can do the craft. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that we can all still talk to each other over the internet. Pray that you would help us to remember to pray to you when people are in trouble and remember that you listen to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye friends, miss you.